In this video, we'll look at how to customize the appearance of report elements by using cascading style sheets and apply custom appearance based on certain conditions. I'll start with a master detail report that I created in a previous video. First, let's look at report styles. Let's create a new style that provides a uniform appearance for table headers. Switch to the Report Explorer window and right-click the Styles category. Then click Edit Styles to manage the collection of report styles. Here I can load an existing style sheet or create a new one. I'll define the background color and font in the created style. Then assign the style to the report elements using drag and drop. If we switch to preview, you'll see the new appearance of table headers. Back in the report designer, I'll make alternating table rows have a different appearance. To do this, select the table on the detail band, and in the properties window, expand the styles property. Then expand the odd style property editor, and click new. I'll define a custom background color for the created style and switch to the preview. You'll notice that the created odd style is applied to even numbered rows. This is because rows are counted starting with zero, which is an even number. Let's see how to change a report element's appearance using conditional formatting. For example, changing the font color depending on the current data field value. Switch to the Report Explorer and right-click the Formatting Rules category. Click Edit Formatting Rules and add a new rule to the collection. By default, the rule will use the report's data source. However, when dealing with hierarchical master detail data sources, you are also required to specify the rule's data member. Then, click the button for the condition property and define a logical condition for the rule. When evaluated, such a condition must return true or false. For example, I can single out data records in which the unit price value is equal to or greater than 20. I define a custom foreground color that will be applied when the specified condition is true. To assign the rule to a table cell, I can use its smart tag. In the Formatting Rules Editor, move the selected rule to the right and click OK. If I switch to Preview now, you'll see the applied rule in action. Another way to assign a rule is by using drag and drop. Back in the preview, I can see the rules appearance settings applied to corresponding report controls. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our reporting suite, make sure to check out the documentation on our website, or watch any of the other videos from our reporting playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel and watch all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.